This is The Aura. I am Vanessa James. Here are the stories making headlines today. Following public outcry regarding her statement on the Bail Act, Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs Marlene Malahu Fort is encouraging Jamaicans to hold off on their opinion regarding the impending amendment to the Act until it has been tabled. In the House of Representatives during her 2022-2023 sectoral debates last week, Malahu Fort announced that the new amendment to the Bail Act will ensure that individuals charged with murder or illegal possession of firearm would be denied bail. Throwing in his support of his colleague, Justice Minister Delroy Chuck, during his presentation on Thursday's symposium, said he and Malahu Fort are working on the new Bail Act and therefore he is urging the public to hold on to their criticism until the Act is tabled in Parliament. A joint select committee of the Parliament has been reviewing the Act and Malahu Fort had signaled for some time that a bill was to be tabled soon. The Ian Fleming International Airport on Thursday welcomed its inaugural flight from Providentials in the Turks and Caicos Islands. The arrival of the flight signals a positive sign for intra-regional travel, which has taken a hit since the coronavirus pandemic in March 2020, resulting in one billion US dollars in lost revenue. Touted to lead the way for recovery, the flight from Turks and Caicos is expected to further drive air connectivity between Jamaica and the rest of the region, a move proudly supported by the chairman of Inter-Caribbean, Lyndon Gardner. Superintendent in charge of the St. James Police Division, Carlos Russell, on Thursday morning named several men who are wanted for various crimes, ranging from escaping custody to murder. This includes Tajay Fathead Clark, who is from Salt Spring in the parish. He is wanted in connection with a triple murder that took place in Rose Heights on May 25. Chadwell Fraser, Shamaria Calvin, and Tonian Reed were shot and killed by armed thugs while at a party in the community. Music producer Linval Thompson Jr., popularly known as Shabdon, has already been charged in relation to the incident. Ten of the other men listed are also wanted in connection to murders. Russell, in urging the men to turn themselves in at the nearest police station, warned the public that these men are considered armed and dangerous. The Westmoreland police are seeking a local businessman who is accused of sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl on multiple occasions. The abuse allegedly began when the teenager was 13 years old. A report was made to the police on Monday, June 14. The man has reportedly not been seen at his place of business since then. The Westmoreland branch of the Center of Investigations of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse is investigating the matter. A man was fatally shot by the police during an armed confrontation in Crab Hall in Anata Bay, St. Mary, on Wednesday. Dead is 42-year-old Marlon Bell. The Independent Commission of Investigations reported that early Wednesday morning, three officers acting on information went to a premises where an exchange of gunfire ensued. A man, later identified as Bell, was subsequently seen with gunshot injuries. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. An illegal firearm was reportedly recovered by the police following the incident. This has been the Aura. Catch up with these and other stories on JamaicaObserver.com. I am Vanessa James.